Hello, I'm Dr. Ingraham with Advanced Dermatology and welcome to our practice. You are visiting us today seeking treatment for your acne. Acne is the most common skin disorder, affecting over 50 million people in the U.S., so you are not alone. Many patients we treat are teenagers, but acne can also persist into adulthood, especially among women. To help prevent the buildup of debris, bacteria, and pollution in the pores that can contribute to acne, wash your face once or twice a day with a mild soap and warm water. Don't scrub your face with a washcloth. Acne can't be scrubbed away, and scrubbing may actually make it worse by irritating the skin and pores. Try cleansing your face as gently as possible. There are a myriad of treatments for acne, including topical and oral prescription treatments. These treatments not only treat P. acne's bacteria, as well as the acne lesions themselves and the hyperkeratosis that can contribute to acne, but also can target the inflammation which contributes to redness, discomfort, and potential scarring of acne. To better understand how we can treat your acne, let's first discuss how acne occurs so that we can help you put your best face forward. So let's start with, what is acne? For most people, acne is an inherited condition of the pores. When someone is prone to acne, their pores clog with dead skin cells much faster than normal. Healthy pores shed about one layer of dead skin cells per day inside the pore, but acne-prone pores shed up to five layers of dead skin cells per day. The body just can't keep up with keeping the pore clear. Technically, this is called retention hyperkeratosis, dead skin cells shedding more quickly than the pore can expel them. As the dead skin cells begin to accumulate inside the pore, the cells become sticky and get stuck inside the pore and form a plug. Medically, this is called a microcomedone, essentially the precursor to all acne. As you can see in this picture, there are more dead skin cells shedding inside the pore. Hormonal fluctuations trigger more oil production inside the pore. Normally this isn't a problem because the dead skin cells don't get trapped. But with acne prone skin, when the dead skin cells shed more quickly and form a blockage, the perfect environment for the P. acnes bacteria is created. The oil is a nutrient for the bacteria, so the bacteria proliferate. So you see, bacteria is not the cause of acne. It is the effect of too many dead skin cells. This is an important distinction to remember. If the dead skin cells and the oil that form the plug don't become inflamed, the plug becomes a whitehead, that is, a non-inflamed lesion under the skin, also called a closed comedone. Or the plug can become a blackhead, which is a non-inflamed acne lesion where the pore remains open, also known as an open comedone. In the case of a blackhead, the tip of the plug darkens as it is exposed to oxygen in the environment. As the oil in the pore builds up, inflammation can develop in the cells surrounding the pore. Blackheads can be infected or not depending on whether the P. acnes bacteria have affected the cells around the pore. As the oil in the dead skin cells build up, they put pressure on the cells surrounding the pore. With enough pressure, the sides of the pore rupture and the contents of the pore leak into the surrounding skin. Because this sebaceous material contains a lot of P. acnes bacteria, the surrounding skin now becomes infected and inflamed, creating a red bump that we know as a pimple. The medical term for this red bump is an inflammatory papule. The next drawing shows a pustule, which is different from a pimple, only that it contains white blood cells. When the immune system fights off the P. acnes infection, white blood cells, which are soldiers of the immune system, pile up, creating pus in the pore. When significant inflammation is present, nodules and cysts sometimes form. These can be painful due to the underlying inflammation. Scarring is common with nodules and cysts. So you see, acne is inherited and treatable condition of the skin. Most acne, no matter what form it takes, starts with microcomedones. This means the solution lies in products that penetrate the pore and prevent dead skin cells from building up. That's why your home care routine is so crucial. It's all about preventing the microcomedones, the beginning of acne, from forming at all. This is the best way to get rid of acne. Now that you have a better understanding of how acne develops, let's get together to find the best therapy regimen to improve your skin. And I want to thank you for taking your time to view this video. I think you will find it to be an important first step in successfully treating your skin.